We will now finish the development of the home page by writing the code of the next events section of the sidebar. So I return to ColdFusion Builder, I return to index.cfm and I will run that page in the browser. Here you can see that the next event section of the sidebar displays the next three events scheduled for the band. It displays the date of the event, the location of the event, and of course it is also a link to the individual page of that particular event. So let's return to ColdFusion Builder. And before writing some code on the index.cfm file, I will take a look at the events service component, which is right here. Now this component contains two methods, the getEventById method and the getCurrentEvents method. None of those two methods are currently capable of returning the next three events. I do have this getCurrentEvents method, but that retrieves all the future events, not only the next three. So I will add a CF argument tag to create the num events argument that will let me choose the number of events that I want to return from the database. This is going to be a number, so it's a type equal numeric. It will not be required, required equal false, and if it is not passed to the getCurrentEvents method, its default value is minus one. And I will use that argument as the value of the max rows attribute of my query arguments dot num events like that. Now I save the new version of the event service dot cfc component, I return to index dot cfm, I run it in the browser because I need to pass this restart app URL parameter to make sure that I have the latest version of the component available in the application scope. All right, now that this is done, I will return to the index.cfm page, and this is the code of the next event section of the sidebar. So just after the h1 title, I will create a new variable using cfset. That new variable will be the next three events, and it will be equal to the application.eventService dot get current events, but I want only the next three events, so I pass three as the only argument of that function. Now that the data is available to the page, I go inside of that UL block here to write a CF output tag that open and closes, and I will add the query attribute to ask our fusion here to loop over the next three events query. Now, inside of the loop, I need one li, I will cut paste one of those, like that, and I need to go to the agenda.cfm page, and I need to pass the event id parameter, and make it equal to the fld event id piece of data that is inside of the next three events query. Now for the date, I need the date format function and I want to format the FLD event date time data using the month day mask like that and here for the location, I need to output the FLD event location piece of data that is in the query. Now let's do some housekeeping because I don't need those two allies anymore. Those are not anymore needed. I save the page, I run the page, and here I have the next three events in the next events section.